Piers Morgan slams Omid Scobie's claims he called for Meghan and Harry to be burned alive. Piers Morgan appeared on his talk TV show after naming the two senior royals who were dragged into the race row after the publication of the Dutch version of Omid Scobie's book, Endgame. Piers Morgan has slammed Omid Scobie's claims he called for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to be burned alive. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Royal author Omid, 42, alleged Piers, 58, wrote an op-ed in which Piers said Meghan and Harry should be burned alive as he appeared on this morning earlier today. Speaking to Craig Doyle and Alison Hammond on ITV's This Morning, Omid claimed, he, Piers, wrote an op-ed this week saying that they, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, should be burned alive or something like that. Appearing on his own talk TV show, Piers slammed Omid's claims as he played a clip from the This Morning interview and responded by sarcastically saying, Did I? Wow, that's amazing. I wrote an op-ed piece this week for newspapers, published, who said I want Meghan and Harry burned alive. That's quite something. Why did no one report that? How am I still here? Why am I being cancelled? I was saying they should be burned alive. Wow Omid. Piers then clarified what he wrote in his column, published by The Sun, and read out the extract as he said, here's what I actually said, I can't speak for Charles, Camilla, William or Kate. But if two close members of my family have spent the past few years trashing the rest of us on global media platforms, the only way I'd want to spend Christmas with them is if they were human chestnuts roasting on my open fire. That's my family I'm talking about if some of my family did what they did, I'd have them as human and chestnuts on a roaring fire. Where does it say I burn Meghan and Harry alive, Omid? It's just more lies isn't it mate? I see right through you. The talk TV presenter, 58, posted his show in its usual slot this evening after being snapped for the first time since naming the two senior royals that were dragged into the race row involving Meghan Markle, Prince Harry and their son Prince Archie. Piers identified the two senior royals after their names appeared in the Dutch version of the new explosive book by royal author Omid Scobie, Endgame. He added that he does not believe any racist comments were ever made by any of the royal family. Author Omid denied including the identities of the two senior royals in his original manuscript of the book and said an investigation had been launched at the publishers, who were responsible for translating Endgame into Dutch. He said as he appeared on this morning earlier today, I never submitted a book that had those names in it. But in a twist, the Dutch translator who worked on the book today insisted the titles of the King and Princess of Wales were in the manuscript she was sent. Saskia Peters claimed she did not add the names to the Dutch version of the book. Allegations that members of the royal family had raised concerns and had conversations about how dark their then unborn son Archie's skin might be. However, Meghan and Harry refused to name the members of the firm who shared such concerns. When the Sussexes made their explosive allegations on Oprah, in an interview broadcast around the world, they set in train a public debate about who in the royal family might harbour such racially charged views. In a multicultural modern Britain such allegations against the monarchy generated debate on a matter of such public importance with Scobie's new book claiming to add to that public debate.